Hello everybody, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem as an application of Young's double slit experiment. Let me read out the problem. In Young's double slit experiment, the fringes are shifted by distance x when a plate of refractive index 1.5 is introduced in the path of 1 of the beam. Let's try to understand what's happening in the problem, right? If we have Young's double slit experiment with two slits, and this is the screen. At the central bright spots, both of them travel equal distance. They have no path difference. Their phase difference is zero. There is going to be a bright spot. But now what is being done is, in the path of one of the beams, a material is kept. Because it is kept with a thickness T, the beam from S1 won't no more reach the point O, rather it will reach a point P because it has created it has got a shift how much shift it gets because it is traveling through a denser medium of refractive index n the path traveled in the path when it is placed the thickness that it travels is something like equal to n into t so in air it might have traveled thickness t Whereas in a medium, it has traveled a thickness nt. So we can say the shift in the path delta x is L, that is t of n minus 1. Because of the medium, it shifts its path delta x equal to nt minus t, that is t of n minus 1. If the shift is t of n minus 1, what that shift in the problem is given like that y. We can write a formula. If you remember back in the previous video lessons, we have proved something like sin theta is close to that of tan theta. Please refer to the previous video lesson. We have proved this. Delta x by d is y by capital D. Then y is capital D by d of delta x. That delta x is nothing but now in the problem thickness of refractive index minus 1. That's the y. He has given that that y in the problem when a medium of refractive index 1.5 place d is x. So we can rewrite this formula as x is d by d of thickness of 1.5 minus 1. Going to the next part of the problem. When another plate of same thickness but different material having different refractive index, the shift is 3x by 2. So here I have to write 3x by 2 in case 2. Capital D changed, small d is not changed, thickness is not changed. But the refractive index is going to be different. Then dividing these two equations, we get 2 by 3 equal to 1.5 minus 1 by n minus 1. That is 2n minus 2 equal to 3 into 1.5 minus 3. So that's 4.5 minus 3 equal to 2n minus 2. Simplifying this, we get the value of the n as something like 1.75. So the medium that was kept in the second case is having a refractive index of 1.5. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.